that bit. Okay, welcome to God's Gifts. It's the dating show that gets your ovaries ticking, doesn't it, girls? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it gets mine ticking anyway. It's about five guys who are fighting against each other for the title of God's Gift. They have to compete in six tests of their manliness and our lovely audience of stunners tonight yeah. are going to decide which one of our handsome chaps is actually God's Gift in turn. He will then whisk one of you off to an exotic location for a dream date. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. But bingo! Fantastic! What more could you ask for? How exciting! Okay, now, I couldn't go any further without the help of Mr. Charisma. Uh, that's Stuart Hall. Hello, Stuart. Hello, Davina. Oh. <laughs> How are you, Stuart? I have a poem. You've got a, he's got a poem. When I consider how my light is spent... <gasps> Stuart, can I hold on one second there? We've got a girl that's been here before. Let's get the poem right. in. For, let's get the poem oh. for a girl. Do you remember? Do you remember the girl in the white lace dress? Do with I? The, with the bra. <laughs> it's her. What's your name? Becky. Hello, Becky. Becky's back. She's Welcome back. Wonder Woman. Poem for me and Becky, Stuart. So Thank when you. I consider how my light is spent, uh, half my days in this dark world and wide. It's a babe, it's a babe, it's a babe. And that one talent, which is death to hide, lodged with me useless. It's a babe. Though it's my soul more bent... <laughs> On Becky. Oh, she's in love, Stuart. Wonderful. Save it, save it, because we've got some lovely boys. Thank you very much, Becky. Back you go. Now they're here. They're ready. They're quite nervous. So let's be gentle with them, shall we? Break them in gently, go. No, no chance of that. Contestant number one. And he is Matt Goodyear, slim and trim of delicate form. Beloved by the sculptor Donatello, who hated Michelangelo's muscular men. His favorite dates would be, and there he is, mysterious, he's only going one way. Matt. His favorite dates, Judy Chalmers and Gloria Hunnifer. This Matt. boy needs mothering. Matt, I'll mother you, Matt. I'll mother you. <laughs> She'll mother you. Don't worry, we'll look after you. Mother him, mother him. Now, Matt, what was that photograph of yourself? Because how can you be God's gift looking like that? <laughs> I don't you, know. I, I you've got to have a sense of humour, though. Haven't oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Top sense of humour, yeah. Top yeah, sense yeah. of humour. You've yeah. got that? Yes, got it. Congratulations. Thanks, oh. Matt. See you soon. Thank you very much. Contestant number two. He is Nigel Reed of Brain Box, a 20-year-old psychologist at Humberside University. He's a towering six foot two. Slim of waist, and there he is. Preparing to probe your mind or whatever you wanted probing tonight. This boy, the brain box, is a real prober, a prober, a prober. He's a, he's a prober. Now, uh, Nigel, I love that posing there. That sort of. Yeah. Is it, is it, I can't wait to see if he can carry it off when he gets his kicks off. But later on the show, but Nigel, we can look to your seat, please. Contestant number three. He's Billy Winter from Nottingham. A winter with spring in his step. He's a lawyer by day. There's his lawyer's pose, looking like a sailor's dummy. But he's also a model by night. He's 21 with a thrusting physique. A magnificent chest. He's dangerous. Billy Winter with a spring in his step. Stuart said it. Stuart said it, I think. Stuart did actually say the word thrusting there. And, uh, Thrust. I think we'll all agree that the thrusting physique is quite attractive, don't we, really, girls? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, one girl does there, anyway. Thank you very much, mate. If you'd like to go and sit down, contestant number four. Is sympathetic Garfield Thompson. He's a mere 19 from Manchester. He works as a window display artist. There he is, displaying everything for you. And he's a lot to display, as you will see as the evening unfolds before your very eyes. He's a pocket, pocket battleship, is Garfield. Garfield's a pocket battleship and a yeah. half. He's With a big sorted. gun. He's, has he got a, have you got a big gun? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, sure have. Hey, sure have. Sure have, yeah. ma'am. You've got lovely lenses. Uh, girls, he's got those wonderful sort of like bluey contact lenses in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Take your seat, please. Contestant number five. Oh, go wild for this boy. He's Anthony Stank from Burnley, the sex centre of the British Empire, or what used to be the British Empire. There he is. The car's actually going down on him. 
He trains the juniors for the fabled Burnley Football Club, the days of McElroy, Miller and Adamson. He is a big stud, a big, sure, big stud. Uh, you know, you know whoa, whoa, what's whoa. nice about, about Anthony, right? He's, he's all this big stud and he gets all this build-up, but actually you're a bit shy, aren't you? I am a little bit shy. He's yes, a little bit shy. Oh. They, you said the magic word, you see. As soon as you say the word shy, they all go, oh. Because they all think, oh, it's really, you know. Anyway, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Let's not think about that. Anyway, girls, girls, big round of applause here for our boys. You yes. bet. Yes. Well, let's find out. You know what they say? What, Stuart? You know what they say in Burnley about him, the sex centre of the empire? There's nothing slack about Stack. Yes, his surname's Stack, just in case. He's stacked. Um, no, I'm Stack. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, let's get on with the first test. Ooh. Smile, boys. Smile, smile. I know it's frightening. I know it's frightening. Yes, it's absolutely terrifying. Guys, if you'd like to go to your positions, please. Whenever I say that, I always think we should go like... <laughs> yeah, could you take your positions, please? <laughs> um, no, but we're not doing that at all. We're talking about television adverts. You know the ones with the guys in, and you look at the guys and you think, God, where did they find I him? One. I'd give him one. I didn't say that. She did. <laughs> but um, basically, that's what we're trying to make you girls do with these guys. So, Stuart? First up, contestant number one is Matt having a close... Oh. Go on, Matt. Go on, Matt. He's trying. He's doing his mum a bit. Go on, splash it on, Matt. Go on, give it some, Matt. Go on. Oh, you naughty boy. Naughty, naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> oh, look, let's just stop it. Your schoolmaster won't be pleased when he oh, sees dear. you on Monday morning. Oh dear. Dong dong. Oh, dear. Matt, I love you. Oh, Matt. Matt, I, li I like the sort of way we dabbed the... But it was quite rude. It was all very suggestive. But I love the way you've got the shaving cream and it's supposed to be for your face. But it was very erotic, wasn't yeah, it, girls? Yeah, you did very well. Good. Congratulations, uh, Stuart. Mm -hmm. Next up is contestant number two, Nigel in Splashed. Go on, Nigel. Go on, my son. Hold this boy's up for it. Whoa. <laughs> He's bucked his ball. Oh. Oh. This is rapturous. The girls already sound a very great wild. Where would he finish? We know where he started. Lower. <laughs> he was a bit stuck there, wasn't Great he? He was a bit stuck nice. for a while. Can you do but I have to say, it? there's not much you can do with that. But I did like the quick squirt down the trousers. Do you want one, Bob? There you go, that's for you, Bob. Um, congratulations, very innovative, Stuart. And introducing our next hunk. Oh, dear. <laughs> Excuse me, I've suddenly got a lump in my throat. It's Billy Winter, bearing all in bathing beauties. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Will he get the pouch over the bath? I asked myself. It looks like a squid. <laughs> oh, cheeky. They want it off. They want more. <laughs> Billy, uh, Billy, you're supposed down, to shrink Billy. your jeans. I just didn't know where to look. I was sort of, I had to run up and talk to Garfield because I was just going, Garfield, I can't believe what we... Are you all right? Yeah. So, I'm just, well, just lost for words. It was when there's Stuart. Well, he hasn't even... He was supposed to shrink his jeans, not his job strap. <laughs> <laughs> but now, <laughs> babes in hand in the wood, in the cockpit tonight, Good a big hand for number four, Garfield Thompson, with his mouth watering, yeah. ice cream improvisation. <laughs> Oh. oh, I think he's done this before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they want more Garfield, they want more of this. It wasn't he sweet. I don't know why I 
he wouldn't say the word sweet with Garfield. Notice how I did conveniently stop that one little piece of ice cream from falling right down his trousers. I didn't want him to get a little chill down there. Stuart? It's the turn of number five, Anthony, in a trip to the fridge. Yes. <laughs> you open the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> they are footballers legs congratulations Davina. yes Stuart you know what they say in Burnley what do they say in he's Burnley got, Stuart Anthony's got footballers legs them legs ain't bowed they're just pleasure bent pleasure bent <laughs> thank you very much Anthony you've got lovely legs that's lovely now the girls will be deciding as to who they think is worthy of the title of God's gift at the end of the show but right now we want to get a rough idea of how the guys are doing. When Stuart tells the girls they're going to run, screaming and shouting, stand in front of the guy that they like, the one with the most girls standing in front of him is our current favourite. So it's time to stand by your man. OK, girls, listen up, listen up. Whose body spoke volumes to you? Prepare to stand by your man. And the hell of a skelter. Is it Anthony with the footballer's legs? Is it Garfield with the ice cream? Is it Belly who is dangerous? Belly boy. It's number five. It's Anthony. Anthony. Oh, it's Anthony. But it was very, very close with Garfield there. Garfield also did very well. Now, Anthony. Anthony. Let's quickly take Anthony down into the viewers. If you were to go out on a dream date, what kind of girl would you go for? This one right here. This one right here. Okay, now what's your name? Emma. Emma, would you like to give him a quick kiss? <laughs> Just to seal your fate later on in the show. Oh. <laughs> steady, steady, steady. Steady on, stick up. Come on. I'm just like being in a boxing room. <laughs> You're a mark, you are. Right, it's time for our next test. <laughs> Oh. Be gone. This is where we find out if our boys can follow up their little moving meetings with the little pitter patter. Because it's important that God's gift can talk well, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's no good going out on a date and then being stuck with someone who bores the pants off you all night. And I'd just like to quickly talk about our current favourite, okay? Because I've got an ex girlfriend of our current favourite. <laughs> Look at the camera. Now, what's your name? Leanne. Now, Leanne, you've actually been with Anthony, haven't you? Yeah. And, and what was he like? What was his chat up lines like? I think that says it all. I think that says it all. OK, I can't believe we've got an ex-girlfriend. She had no idea he was going to be in the show. All of a sudden, she's in the audience. Her ex-boyfriend comes on. She's like, oh, my God. But I've been Davina, there. Davina. Yes, Stuart? Did he actually literally bore the pants off? I think it's... <laughs> Supermarket, sorry, what's the restaurant supermarket? Um, supermarket location, you know, your eyes meet over the vegetable counter, you're asking how much lettuce is, you fancy the guy. Never happens to me, but we thought it might happen here. Let's introduce Glenn. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I thought I had to check you for lipstick now. I thought you've already got lipstick on you, but you haven't. How are you, Glenn? Already, but if you're have you ever Have you ever been chatted up in a supermarket? No. No, no. no. You'd chuck me up like in the supermarket, though, wouldn't you, Glenn? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, Glenn. Now, could I have the first girl? Oh, lovely lady. Come in, please, Matt. And um, what's your name? Carly. 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 This is Matt. Matt Carly. You've got 30 seconds, Matt, starting now. So, um, is this porridge? Are you having this for your breakfast tomorrow? Uh, no. Well, why don't you put it back and have your oats now? <laughs> Can you tell me where the macaroni is? Because I need something really hot and cheesy. Oh, joking. Oh, dear. What? Oh, no, ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. 
you, you, you were gagging for me to ring that bell I was, earlier, weren't you? I was dying for you to ring you that bell. You were a bit smarmed. I was definitely oh, smarmed. Oh, dear. Sorry, so, Matt, darling. So. She was smarmed. Sorry. Thank you very much. Yeah. Be gone. The next lovely lady, please. Oh, hello, Stunner. Hello. What's your name? It's Alex. Alex is gorgeous. Nigel, good luck. Alex, are you on your position, yes? Are you? you on your position, yes? Now, a little romance, please. 30 seconds starting now. Hi, Alex. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Have you been shopping long? <laughs> well, as long as I can remember, yeah. Mm. You look a bit tired walking around the shop. It's a big shop, isn't it? Uh, well, you know, there's not many gentlemen around, you know. Often... Hey, you should be on telly, you know. <laughs> so I've been told. Even if you don't get in, shut up. Even if you don't get on telly, you can always be in the audience. Hold on, hold on. Ring the bell, ring the bell. Sorry, I'm sorry. He was doing quite well, but he actually abused our audience. Did and I? yes, I you said, shut up. And I don't like it when someone tells our girls to shut up. I'm sorry. It was kind sorry, of a metaphor Nigel. for something. No, no, it was a metaphor. Don't try and pull long words on me, sweetheart. Not on this one. <laughs> OK, what did you think? Uh, it was all right. You it know. was all right at the beginning, yeah, wasn't it? You know, give me a little bit longer. Maybe. I did quite, I quite like that mm -hmm. at the beginning. Thank you, Tavina. All right, that's all right, Nigel. Very good of you to say. That's all right, Nigel. No, Nigel, don't get me wrong. I just don't like it when. It's all right, you right. Know. I'll be nice don't to you. Don't get me. Time, yes, right. exactly. 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, the next lovely lady, please. Go on, oh, quick, you. quick, get your basket. Come She's on, get your basket. Oh, it's a nightmare when you're on the supermarket and you've forgotten your basket. There you go. And Billy, come in, please. Billy with the pants. Hey, hey, hey. Billy with no pants. Billy with no pants at all. Okay, 30 seconds starting now. Oh. Hi, what's your name? Becky. Nice to meet you, Becky. Nice to meet you. Um, it's a nice outfit you're wearing. Yeah, I'm looking for the baby oil so I can get in it easier. Oh, can I um, <laughs> give a dollar oh, for you? Oh, she's smart. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. It's all right, thank you. I can do it myself. Um, so where do you come from? Manchester. Maybe come up for visit sometime. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think ring the bell. I think we well, you find that a bit difficult. Yeah. Right. Now, now, what did you think? I'm sorry. Because I thought you gave him quite a lead there. You did say I'm looking for the baby oil to get it on a bit easier. There was a bit of a lead there for him to it jump in and lead. say, I'll rub it all over or something like that, you know. Um, he didn't. It's mom. Absolutely. Oh, sorry, Billy. Sorry, mate. Off you go. Thank you very much. Next girl, please. Hello, what's your name? Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. If you'd like to... Got a few friends there. Come on, Garfield. Oh, look, Garfield, if you'd like to put your trolley there. He gets a big R from the audience. <laughs> 30 seconds starting now. So, can you sing? Uh, no. Well, after a session with me, you'll be reaching those high notes. No. Well, well, if you give me a chance, I can easily teach you. No. Won't you? No. Not even for little old me? No. For little old me? <laughs> Please, don't do this to me! Oh, God. Come on, Mom. Mom. Mom, oh. Can I nice singing voice, though, Garfield. Nice singing voice. Sorry about that, love. Could we have the next girl, please? Oh, she's oh, she loved that dress. Yeah. What's your name? Claire. Claire, you've got our current favourite, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Anthony's cross. Come on, Anthony. Come on. Come on. Anthony was crossing himself there very quickly. He's obviously a little bit nervous. Stand there. You've got 30 seconds starting now. Be nice to him. Hello. What's your name? Claire. 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 I would like to take you out tonight. Would you like to go out tonight after, I would like after to the show? That. Even if we're Definitely. Definitely. Right there. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? Orange shirt. Yes. With orange shirt. With orange shirt, and your dress will be will be will make it together. Will we? to me that Anthony didn't even have to work in that one. She was like, absolutely, yes, don't worry, I'll go out with you. And he was like, anything, he doesn't even have to open his mouth, does he? No, you, that, that shirt is It's, it's the like shirt, it she is. loves him, and she was kind, just like I asked you to be, Very. so thank you very much. Anthony, thank congratulations, you. you went down a treat. And um, if you'd like to walk up this way, we'll get you back in the audience as soon as possible, because it's now time to take another quick opinion poll and stand by your man. <laughs> Okay, girls, who would send you off your trolley? Prepare to stand by your man now. Well, is it Matt? Could you have your oats? Well, Nigel was out chatting. Well, Becky really punked Billy. And Anthony was pulling rather sharpish. It's number four. Well, there was a bit, it was a bit dubious the last time we weren't quite sure. Whether it was Anthony or Garfield the one, but this time it's an absolute definite vote. Congratulations, Garfield. How are you feeling? I'm feeling absolutely wonderful. He's feeling wonderful, girls. He could be wonderful for you, but will he still be wonderful after we've heard 
his party pieces. Wait till after what? No, I don't want to know. OK, will, will we still love him after we've heard his horrible confession? He is sweet, but he won't be after you've heard this. But will we still love him, more importantly, after we've sucked the belly buttons of some of our girls in the audience? <laughs> One of this well-connected clan plaited Bob Marley's hair and went to school with his kitty winkies. Which whaler was it? <laughs> Tune in for part two. Ah! I don't want to look at some dude's hairy butt. Yeah. <laughs> if they would like just show a chick's butt, maybe it would be a buzz clip. <laughs> <laughs> Our yeah. five hunks was intimate with Bob Marley and went to school with the Marley Kitty Winkies. <laughs> oh, it was Garrulous Garfield Thompson. Yeah. Hey, everybody, I can smell a man at 500 paces. <laughs> Anyway, we're still trying to find out who's God's gift, and to help us along our merry way, let's have a quick recap from Stuart. And here's the resume. Nigel lost his knob up, on the Murray. deodorant can, and Billy couldn't get his parting pouch into the bath. And in Spam and Charm, well, Matt, poor old Matt, met Carly. Have, have you had your oats? Oh, my word. Nigel was out, chatted. Billy met Becky and uh, gave him a very cold winter. Garfield hit the high note. And Anthony, well, he pulled a bit sharpish with his trolley. So, Yay! Anthony and Garfield are the current favourites. A long way to go, Davino. I'm still sniffing. And I think I sniff one right here. Whoa. 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 Little Glenny, isn't he sweet? Anyway, this is where we find out if our boys are sensuous, you know what I mean? Uh, whether they can turn us on. Uh, guys, if you'd like to come round, please. We're going to find out if they can do that when they get to uh, suck the little belly button. So it's time for our next test. Okay, so we've got our boys in position. Basically, they've got to show us that they're sexy by caressing the tummy buttons of some of the girls from our audience. They've got 50 seconds to do it. Get cleaning, guys. Get cleaning. We don't want any of that little fluff in there anymore. You can use a Q-tip. Sorry, you don't know what you're doing, do you? Look, come here. Come here. Look, you go like this. Look, you go like that. Very gently. Very gently, like that. And then you put your chocolate and your, uh, chocolate and your cream in. Go on, then, Nigel. All right, do it now. Obviously. All right, Nigel. I know. Be gentle with the cream. You can lie down. It's all right. He's not going to hurt you. Look, I'll put the towel here. Towel here. She's like a supermodel, this one. She's beautiful, beautiful. OK, guys, are you ready? He's getting artistic. Bob and four, look at that. He's drawing an... an what's he drawing? Anyway. What is that, a Picasso or something, or what? His initials. OK, guys, get ready. Get sucking. Starting now. Now, you put your shades on. I'll put my shades on. It's a bit embarrassing. She doesn't want her friends to know she's here. Um, what's your name? Louise. You are stunning, Louise. Are you a model? Yes. Yeah. She's a model! You're sucking a model's tummy about you lucky, lucky boy. Now, what's your name? Emma. Emma, what's, uh, uh, what's he doing there? Is he doing Not anything? bad. He's doing quite well, actually. Do you, do you like him, Emma? Because I know you quite right. like Anthony, don't you? Stop. Sorry, we couldn't sort him out. Never mind. Sorry. What's your name? Wendy. 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 Wendy's got lovely eyes. I know we're not really looking at her eyes at it's present. Lindsay. But, but Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Lindsay. He's, okay. he's doing well, is he? Yeah, well, he's lovely. Done. What's your name? Katie. And how are you enjoying it? It's quite nice. Oh, God, yeah. you've got that. It's yeah. quite nice. Yeah. What about you? Wow. I oh, love your hair. Wow, look at your necklace as well. And wow, look at him go. He's really going for it, isn't oh, he? Yeah. Wow. Now, girls, if you want to just quickly wipe off. I need a quick chat with as many of you as I can over here because I want to find out what it was really like. We've got a real model. Look, come here, come here. Do you know, do you know, do you know Glenn then? Yes. Look, look, because she's a model, look, can't you tell? Because she's about 10 feet taller than I am and about 50 times prettier than me. Go away! How was it? Dreadful. It was dreadful? Oh, darling. Oh, that oh. was Matt. Sorry, Matt, sweetheart. Oh, what about Matt. you? It was all right. Not now, now Anthony's your favourite at the moment. Who did you have again? Did Nigel. you have number two? Nigel. Nigel, yeah. Right, and, and you didn't think it was so bad? No, it's all right. Now, you had the giggles, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you like it, though? Yeah, it was all right, actually. And I, I, I have to say that I thought Anthony did a fantastic, fantastic job. Who did you have? Billy. Billy, it? Billy. Okay. Is it Billy? 
Yes, Billy. Yeah, over there. Okay, everybody. Now it's time to stand by your man. Prepare to stand by your man. Nigel, Woe Patton's Billy had a tongue like a snake. It was just whipping in and out. Anthony had the Burnley touch. And it's number four. It's Garfield. Garfield's doing exceptionally well. Now, I'd say that contestant number two, Nigel's having a bit of a hard time here at the moment. We're going to try and do a bit of a sway the vote here. He took his girlfriend to Paris for the day once. That's very extravaganza, isn't it, for the day? Anyway, it's time, it's time, it's time, girls and boys, for another test. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I smell nice. Oh, he's such a flatterer. Mm. He's such a sweet boy, isn't he? Yes. Mm. But he's not. No. Off, Garfield. Off, because you're tarnished. No. Yes, he is. He's tarnished. Yeah. All of these boys, all of these boys, however sweet they may seem right now, they've all got a bit of a skeleton in their closet. And let's kick off with Matt. What's your deepest, darkest secret, Matt? Yeah, well, I like to wear women's clothes. Oh. Do you really? I do, yes. I, I used to dress up for my girlfriend. In, in, ma in the makeup dressing? and the clothes. In the makeup and the clothes? And stiletto. I think that's a very honest confession there, girls. Yeah. It's a very and honest confession. Nigel! Nigel gave that one a round of applause. Nigel, let's hear yours then, mate. Uh, Davina. Yes, Chip? Be careful of Nigel. He is a psychologist and can read your mind. I'll just do my Star Trek Spock shutting off mode now. Hold on. <laughs> okay, Nigel. Are you ready for me? Um, mm. I can see what I know what you're thinking. No, but... Nigel, you don't. Right. <laughs> I went to a party and I got drunk and I got this girl even drunker. Is that a word? No. Yes. Never mind. More and, drunk, um, perhaps. We went up to a room and she just like flaked out, passed out, and I couldn't bring her around. So uh, I thought I'd have a bit of fun. So I lifted up her skirt. Pulled down her knickers and shaved her crotch into a heart shape. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I took a picture of it. He took a picture! That's awful, Nigel, that's awful! Uh, what was her reaction? Yeah, what was her reaction, actually, Nigel? What, when I put the picture she up on the notes for Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, it gets worse! In the student common room. Stuart, that's awful, isn't it? Oh, my word. My word, let's see what Billy's got to say for himself. Billy. Billy, wow. I'm getting very camp, aren't I? Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, Billy. Um, well, I went to this party. Yeah. And, um, I got... <coughs> sorry, my girlfriend caught me in bed. Yeah. Thank you. My girlfriend caught me in bed with, um, her sister. <gasps> um, And, um, well, she gave me a slap and she walked out. So, she's watching. I'm sorry. Oh, it's put the apology on the end. It's too late. We've already done the dirty deed. Oh, that was Garfield, kind. Garfield. Sweet face. Wait till you hear this. Mm -hmm. Garfield, go on, Garfield. My best friend hates my girl, my ex-girlfriend. And because I had, to, well, I didn't realise double dated at the same time. So, I um, ended up taking them both to the same restaurant. But I had them at the opposite ends of the room. So, what no. I did was, yeah, of course. Because I could, what am I supposed to do? Of course. What am I supposed to do? It's my best friend. It's my ex-girlfriend. Well, girlfriend. So, um, I sort of, like, did them both at the same time, and they caught me out. <laughs> 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 not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Davina. Yes, Stuart? I'm so pleased. I thought his best friend might have been a boy. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, naughty. Oh, something. Oh. 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 <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, right. you've gone limp. Anthony, I've gone limp again. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to come and fix it. Right. Anthony, go on, go on. Well, I was uh, engaged once. Is your microphone all right then? Just checking your microphone. Just checking my microphone. Just wanted to make sure you... It's right. okay, go on. And hand him. I was uh, engaged to this girl once and we... Yeah. yeah and we were deeply in love. We went to... You to were work. deeply in love? Yeah. Oh. Uh, go on. And we went to work away down Brooklyn's. Yeah. And, um... I was a waiter, she was a waitress in the same restaurant. She used to finish about an hour before me and go around to this guy's house. Called, uh, I won't say his name, but he's... Uh, she used to go around to this guy's yeah, house? What for? Well, everybody started, everybody started talking. And then, um, 
I ended up saying, I'm going to leave. I was in this Quimper restaurant. I was trying to say sorry to her and all this. And a friend was there with me. And I said, can you go away for a minute? Well, I have a talk to her. And my girlfriend said, she said, don't talk to my friend. Well, it sounds like your girlfriend wasn't very nice I'm to me. Good, yeah. I'm still good friends with you now. I, I thought that was a rubbish confession, actually. It wasn't even bad. Anyway, it wasn't even bad. Anyway, what, you mean... Oh, not no, a bad it's, lad. It's, it goes in too deep, and I think, yeah, he's not a bad lad, but I mean, you know, this is supposed to be horrible truth, isn't it? Anyway, let's see what the girls think. Let's see what the girls think in a quick opinion poll as you stand by your man. Right, listen up, girls, please. Which of these rogues could you easily forgive? Prepare to stand by your man! And they rush. Will it be to Matt? Who wears his mummy's clothes? Nigel shaved the bits. Kelly caught in bed with the sister. Could it be Garfield, the double date? It's Garfield! Garfield is the favourite! Congratulations, Garfield. You're doing absolutely brilliantly. I can't believe that we've got the double dating and, he, and he's very popular after that. Now, I just want to quickly move to Billy because Billy's having a bit of a problem here, aren't you? Now, what kind of girl do you normally go for, Billy? Um, anyone that's got a good personality. Uh, and he's looking for a good personality. He didn't say thin and he didn't say pretty. He said the right things there. Now, very quickly, now very quickly, listen to this. He stopped three guys, he stopped three guys attacking a woman once. Billy's a heroic man. Hold on. Come with me, Bob. Come with me. Now, you voted for Billy. What do you think he's got that the others haven't? The truth. <laughs> he's, the tr he's honest. He's a truthful man. We like that. Now, let's see how he fares in our next test. <laughs> find out if our boys can floor us with their breathtaking talent. Mm -mm. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. We're going to find out how they perform their little party pieces. They've got 30 seconds to do it. Now, of course, God's gift has got to be entertaining, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if we don't think he's very entertaining, we can always boot them off before. Now, to just uh, get the whole thing started, I would like to introduce to you, what's your name? Amanda. Sorry. Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda and I are going to do a quick tap dance. Stuart, Mamba. this tap dancing routine is for you, okay? Mm -hmm. So, let's go, Amanda. <laughs> Looks like Amanda's kicking the stage to pieces. Did you like it? A lovely little show. It's worth a round of applause. Big round of applause. Congratulations, Amanda. Stuart. So, gentle maidens fair. I present the barefaced cheek of Matt. But that's not Matt, that's Glenn. Here comes Matt. What's he going to do? Play something with his toy, I think. No, I, I'm going to do the impression. Bert and Ernie out Sesame Street. Yeah? Okay. Bert and Ernie, Sesame Street. Okay. Ernie. <laughs> okay, Bert. Ernie. Ernie. I love you, Ernie. Okay, Bert. Cool. <laughs> Ernie. Kiss me, Ernie. Okay, Bert. Oh. 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 Now, 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 just stand out of the way of the microphone. I don't want the microphone obscuring your amazing face because I can't believe that two glove puppets kept these piranhas quiet for 30 seconds. You're a miracle. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you very much. Okay, Stuart. Uh -oh. Put your hands together for saucy songster, contestant number two, Nigel, and his pretty little ditty. Hi, girls. Hi. On top of my Sarah, all covered in sweat. I've done for a girl's gift. Wait a minute. Hold on. What was the last line? Stuart, we don't want to know. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Well, here's a raspberry. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Stuart. So, win some wenches. Billy Winter is here with a lovey dovey oh, lyric or two to entertain you. Billy, where are you, Bob? Billy, Billy, come forth and get your microphone. Hello, Billy. Billy. I've killed you twice. <laughs> all right, all right. You mean? 
Right, girls, could you help me out, please? Yes, yes. Give me. There's something that I want you to know. There's a special kind of love. There's something that I want you to know. There's a special. I know two puppets did it. A lovely singing voice doesn't. What can I say? I never know what's going to please these girls, but I thought you'd had a lovely voice. Thank you very much, Billy. Stuart! So now, you sassy chicks, who can satisfy you? Shake your maracas for number four, Garfield, yeah. as he wows you with his majestic swan dives. He's live, isn't he? He's live. He oh. moves, sweet dear. What a... Oh, how nice. Oh, oh, two new faces in the club. Well, uh, Davina... Did, they, did you see them? Yes. Davina, it answers the question everybody's been asking. Well, I'm wearing some anyway. You are. Thank goodness you were. Yes. I'm Two new faces Stuart. in the club tonight. Just cover for me. <laughs> Lusty lasses. Anthony and his circus of football. No, he's got it wrong. You said the magic word, football. <laughs> right. Everybody likes little cute animals, don't you? Yeah, well, I'm going to try and make one for you. I'm going to try my best. Oh, Never seen that one, yeah? <laughs> Does nobody want to come and pop my balloon? Does anybody want to come and pop this? Not that it's a balloon. <laughs> so I think the girls already set off. Did you want to carry on? I want to see the finished article. Quickly, go on. Quick, carry on. Quickly, quickly carry carry on. It, right. Sorry, girls. Made a bit of an error of judgment. Sorry there. What is it? Oh, just it's sort of dog. carry on, sort of walking around. It's a dog? I don't want to put you off or anything, you know. No, you don't, no. Is it a man? Oh, no! Is it a beast? Oh! Are we nearly there? We're nearly there now. We're coming. We're coming along. It's a dog, I can tell. Yeah, it's a dog. Okay, it's sorry, clever. mate. Sorry, mate. But look, hang on. Let's just let's, show them the beginning. Let's just finish it. Because I'm frightened now. Frightened. It's going to go bang. I need you to go back to your seat and finish right. it back over there. Oh, look at this. Oh, lovely dated dog. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, girls, it's time to take a quick opinion poll and stand by your man. So, OK, girls, who made you laugh or bath? Get ready to stand by your man. No, no, baby's go. Come on, was it Matt? The Sesame Street. Was it Nigel? No, they were hearing. Was it Billy in the deep winter? Or was it Anthony with his dog? It's number four, it's Garfield again! Good, good. Congratulations, Garfield. You're doing very, very well there. There were certain girls that didn't run around at all in Stand By Your Man. They just went... <laughs> stood in front of Garfield. Did my boobies go? Sorry. Um, stood in front of Garfield. All right, all right, Bob. Uh, as soon as it, it started. But can I just quickly say that the man with the puppets got an extraordinarily large amount of votes. Congratulations, Matt. What kind of girl do you normally go for? I don't know. I've never had one. Oh, oh bless, bless his cotton socks. How are you going to be God's gift? We're hoping, aren't we? Years of practice. Years of On practice. On my own, reading Honest. books. Oh, he's been reading books about it. Well, girls, girls, I think we might have to get a few more votes a bit later on, don't you think? Yes. Now, it's time for a quick break, but the ultimate test of manliness will be coming up after this. Yeah! <laughs> One of these saucy schoolboys told housewife's choice Eamon Holmes to forex off for the Christmas party. Who gave Mr. H his marching orders? Huh? Find out in part three. Before the break, I asked you to guess which of our brash bucks told Eamon Holmes to forex off at a Christmas party. Yes, it was Silver Town Jama, Matt Goodyear. How could he do that? Matt. Oh, Matt. Matt. Oh, I love Matt. So, so haven't we got a 
lovely bunch of boys here tonight. Haven't they been lovely? They've been really good sports, they've done fantastically well, and this is it. We're here at the final test. <laughs> hurrah, 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 hooray, hurrah. Because this is it, this is where the boys get their kit off. Top hole, top hole. Sorry, Stuart. I said top hole. Yes, and that as well, top mm, hole. Top hole. Hurrah. Yes, mm. jolly good. Super. Super. Absolutely okay, super. this is where the jolly boys get their tops off. Uh, we have having some lovely chest mm. and sort of uh, <clears throat> pectoral muscles. And mm. you've got a chance to shine in a little solo section. And then after that, I'd like you to take uh, your trousers off. I get a bit embarrassed saying that sometimes. <laughs> anyway, girls, you ready? Yeah! Cue the music. <laughs> Matt, you um, first. Matt is first off. up. Let's... Revealing his manly torso. He is a sculpture from Donatello. Thank you, Matt. Wearing his mother's clothes. Nigel. But now, Nigel, our psychology student from Humberside. Oh, no, Let's see what on. the university sees he every day. Very sweet. Billy Winter. Naughty Billy Winter. What's in store in part two of the Bear Essential? Ooh. Garfield. Okay, Garfield! He's too little, but he's sweet. And he's slim. Footballer from Burnley, as I say, the sex centre of the empire. Go on, Anthony. He's taking his time. Don't tease the girls. Girls, get with them. Cheer your favourites on. Okay, boys. The shirt goes. Okay, boys, your trousers now, please. Come on, girls. You're going to sleep. Enthuse the boys. What is happening? The usual. A variety of underwear we've seen the Mickey Mouse draws before. What has Billy Winter got? Well, Billy Winter's at it again. Oh, again, two new faces in the club. He's back in the pouch. We knew that was going to be seen. Cover your eyes if you're of nervous disposition at home. Mummies and daddies, put the kiddie winkies to bed. Oh, that was tigerish. I can't look. I can't look, Bob. I can't look, Bob. Mummies and daddies put yourself? the children to bed. Look, that's what Bob looks like, everybody. Wow, how brilliant. Everybody at home got to see Bob on four. Now, now, I actually can't look. I did see it's a couple of sort of cheeks, and I'm not talking cheeks on the face there. Um, I must say, um, Matt, just very quickly, I just want to quickly touch on this, that Matt wasn't reading the right kind of books. And... <laughs> Possibly, I know he's no, he's lovely. I love him very much, but I think the underwear could have done a little bit of working on. Um, but so, but Matt, maybe better luck next time. Come back on the show in a couple of years' time. Okay, it's time now. That was the last test. It's time now for the final vote. Okay, so this is where the guys run screaming and shouting into the audience, and the girls shove the garters on the one they like, and basically the one with the most garters is then God's gift. So, boys, good luck. Stuart. Well, a resume of the show. Matt, well, swap your porridge and get your oats. Carly preferred the porridge, and he confessed to wearing mummy's clothes. Nigel lost his knob on the deodorant can. He shaved his girlfriend's bits and stuck the photo on the university notice board. Ho, ho. Billy couldn't manoeuvre his pouch into the bath. He had a tongue like a striking viper in tummy suck. <laughs> he was caught in delecto flagrante with his girlfriend's sister. Garfield hit a high note of two. Four-time favourite. Sweet and charming, but he's a two-timer. And Anthony, well, he pulled sharpish with his trolley and went off his trolley in the tummy lick. He was a dog's body in laugh or bath. So so now, girls and boys, this is the moment of truth to choose God's gift. I again utter the immortal words. Get Gotthard! Boom! And they go. The boys terrorizing the girls. The girls are backing off in fear. Matt has actually got a garter. <laughs> it's a sympathy vote from his mummy. What about Nigel? 
a master of psychology from how Garfield is one or two, he's flourishing them. But meanwhile, Davina, Davina, Davina. Yeah, sure, I'm very excited because for the first time ever, I got one. Really? Hello. It's not the only one you have today. And Glenn, oh. and Glenn, wasn't that lovely? Now, guys, guys, come on, it's time to clear out. It's time to clear out now, very quickly. Look, look at her, she's absolutely bored by it all. She's looking at her now, she's going, go out. Now, what did you think? Who did you vote for? Uh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> Which number? Uh, number four, I think it was. The Garfield. Yeah, Garfield, that's Garfield. the guy. That's the guy. OK, well, it was an important decision, because you never know, Garfield might pluck you out of the crowd yeah, to go out yeah, and date with know. tonight. So let's see what happened when last week's God's Gift plucked his wench from the crowd. Emma, will you please oh. have a date with me tonight? Oh, Emma, will you just say yes or no? OK. <laughs> oh, you can't get it, so if you could send us one of your best limousines down, please, I'll let you take this girl out of comfort. Hi, my name's Emma Shaw. I'm at Runshaw College, and I've been picked by God's Gift. My name is Christopher Nicholson. I'm this week's God's Gift. I'm from Newcastle, and I hope I'm going to have a good night tonight with the last I picked out the audience. Well, I'm sorry, uh, I can only give you this cheap... Uh, why I spent so much money on the limousine. Oh, it's very nice. I don't think there is a little bit of romance in the air, but like you heard her say before, she likes taller men, which is understandable because she's a very tall lass, but unfortunately I'm not, so... I've only got three pounds, actually. I've been to my salad sandwich, then. I've been a bit nervous um, all, all day, thinking about uh, the show and that, so I suppose now's the time to get it off my chest. And of course, it was a funny time, I see. But um, anyway, after this, it'll take a big weight off my shoulders, I'm sure. Well, here she's gone to take the timetable now, but I've enjoyed myself. It's been really good. It's been different. I mean, I didn't expect to get picked at all, and I was amazed. The food was different, but the limousine was great. So I've had a great time. Well, he is God's gift, but lacking in the height department quite a bit. But he made up for that in other ways. The wines went out. The limousines run out, but I haven't got any money. Would you like to get a bus somewhere to get? My place? My place is probably best. Oh, that was so lovely, wasn't it? Oh, bless. Anyway, that was last week, but what's going to happen this week? Who knows? Well, Stuart Hall knows. We've got the boys waiting out there in the corridor, so what is their fate, Stuart? Shivering as ever outside the ladies' loo. The sad thing is to say goodbye to the bucks who haven't made it as God's gift. Oh. And first of all, it's back to Sassis and Bras for you, Matt. Bye-bye. Oh, nice big What a surprise. <laughs> Nigel at the university. It's back to the common room, I'm afraid. Bye-bye. Oh. Billy, you have to take your pouch home. Bye-bye, Billy. Oh. Garfield, oh. all sweetness and charm. It's bye-bye, Garfield. Oh. So it leaves Anthony oh. as God's gift tonight. A oh. oh, footballer from... Burnley, who pulled with the trolley. Now, will he pull the girl? He pulled with the trolley in our oh, cockpit of hell as he is crowned. Diabina. Oh, Tim Lambert. Oh, Glenn, I love it when you tell me what to do. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done, mate. Now, Anthony, I crown thee God's gift. the all-important part. Now, have you got your eye on anybody down here that you'd like to go out and date with? Who's that? With this girl here. She is a stunner. She's been on the show before. Let's come up on the stage. Let's come up on the stage. Oh. Now. Sorry, oh, you're going to have to pick me up. I've got name. Becky. Becky, is, Becky, Becky was a star. Course, Becky was a star. The white bra, the white lace outfit. I remember it well. What Becky about Anthony's ex-girlfriend? Anthony's ex-girlfriend's going to have to watch this. Let's bring her forward. Watch it. Have some Anthony, tips. if you'd like to get down on one knee, I've got no taste whatsoever. If you'd like to get down on one knee and ask her in the most romantic way, you know how. She'll go out and go. Becky, please, please go on a date with me. Please. I'll be very proud please, to take you. Only if you take her for a meal. Only, only if you take her for a meal. I'm sure we can sort something out. I'm <laughs> oh, sure we can sort something out. Yes, that's lovely. We've got a yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if you'd like to stand on this side, Glenn's got a camera for you guys because we'd like you to make a diary of your date and so we can share it on um, next week's God's Gift. Thank you very much, Stuart. Glenn, you've been Good lovely. Night. Thank Good you very night. much. Thank you, all girls. You've been Thank wonderful. You. And see you next week. Well done, you guys. Well done.